So this is my electric bike, 48 volt, 1000 watts. Um, I put it on an old uh, 21 speed ma uh, mountain bike. It's a Dr. Pepper bike that I salvaged out of the trash that somebody was throwing away. Um, I got this big box on here, which uh, used to be a box for a skill saw. And I hollowed out the inside so that the molding that held the skill saw in place was gone. And I installed the whole batteries and everything in there. And I put the controller right up here on top because the controller is made out of a, like aluminum-like body. And it gets hot. So, you know, being out in the open um, where the air can cool it, you know, keeps it cool so it doesn't get overheated. And uh, that works better. It's, it's all sealed anyway, but I put some silicone around here where the wires from the controller goes down into the box and uh, it's nice and sealed and uh, I got some more of the wires that run into there um, down here also siliconed so that no water can get in there so it's water sealed and I also put some uh, white uh, stripping rubber stripping around the, uh, the inside of the lid so when it uh, closes it's water sealed um, but that is uh, the box you know up here on the handlebars I've got a oh, not much light. I've got a um, speed computer uh, which gives me my speed, um, trip, I mean it's just a little bike computer. I got this thing which is a light but the front light is red. It's supposed to be white but it's red. It's uh, got the on and off so I could actually have tail lights and turn signals and a horn and everything. So like you know and plus uh, when you hit the brakes you know the light turns on at the back you know uh, you can't really see it in this light but you know, it does come on, um, and including the turn signals. I got this other light right up here. I haven't got it fully wired up yet, but I'm going to actually run it uh, down the frame and into the battery box also, so that it could actually run out the batteries. And uh, I'll have a switch. Um, here's the speed controller. It runs into a potentiometer inside the uh, battery case, so that when you're, you're going you can give yourself throttle I got a cell phone holder right here so I can use the GPS um, give you guys a look at the inside of the box oh by the way I got some more reflectors on the back of it also and then one white one on each side of the box but the box is a little tight to open up so bear with me <laughs> oh it's actually a little lighter today um, there's everything in there I got um, the power cords that go from the battery to the uh, motor right there and there's the two or four batteries 12 volt batteries run in parallel so that it's 48 volts one thousand uh, watts and if I'm right with these batteries I think I have a full 24 amp hours which is pretty darn good but I got this uh, pipe foam wrapped around it wrap them so that you know they don't move around there's another piece of star from underneath and it's all packed in nice and good and tight and I just put uh, this chunk of styrofoam on top of the batteries and what that does is it protects the batteries from bouncing up and down when I'm on the road and all that stuff you know because you don't want that bounce you know you don't want the bounce batteries bouncing you know <laughs> that's bad that's bad and there's all the cables brand new clips and everything which it didn't have brand new clips when I first got it it was all a bunch of dinky wires. The wires were actually kind of really thin gauge, and that really sucked because the wires were melting when I was riding down the road. <laughs> um, the bike gets to about 35 miles per hour. Um, I've gotten up to like 38, but I didn't keep it at that kind of a speed for any length of period of time because, well, that sucks because, you know, it'll heat the motor up and the motor will get hot and you wear out the motor. But here's the... Uh, tail lights it's pretty cool when you flip the little switch the you know lights over here will blink you can flip the little switch to the left you know the lights over here will blink there's two lights that are come on when you turn the lights on automatically so for like nighttime riding if you're not using the brakes and if you hit the brakes several more lights inside this uh, center part light up so it's even brighter so that tells you you know people behind you that you're braking and it's got this little sensor right down here on the brakes you know, so that when you engage the brakes, it actually engages that little switch, and that's what turns on the extra lights in the little red part. So it's pretty cool. 
I have a whole bunch of other modifications like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get. Like I'm going to get some uh, pannier bags that go down the sides of the uh, um, rack here. So I can have some storage on the left and right hand side at the back. And I'm probably going to get one of those handlebar extenders. It's like a little bar that goes right across here. It attaches to the bar. And you can put all your you know, electronics onto that instead of them crammed onto the handlebars. Because as you can see, I really don't have much room for anything else. <laughs> And I need to do some more cable management. But other than that, it's actually fully operational, and I've been riding it around, and it's really nice, and I like it. You know, plus I like having the uh, tail light up here instead of, like, you know, down here, because it's originally meant to attach to the back of the uh, seat post. But I like it up there because it's more visible. And I don't know about you, but it kind of looks cooler. Um, I got help from my sister on this. Uh, she actually donated the box, and uh, she actually helped by starting to cut out the uh, the inside molding. And uh, I finished it, and then put the sealer on there. And then uh, I went home, and then the next day when I came over to her place, she had painted it, which is really cool because it actually makes the box look like it's brand new. <clears throat> and she provided me with the reflectors and the foam and the styrofoam and everything that went in there, and it turned out really really nice so uh, if anybody has any questions about the build and uh, how to redo it if they ever need to um, you know um, feel free to ask or you know make a comment on my uh, video um, I don't care what kind of if you give me good criticism or bad criticism or you just say I'm a fucking idiot you know that's that's your choice um, I'll just ignore it <laughs> but uh, I'll be making another video as I'm upgrading this. Uh, this whole entire electrical system is going to be going on to a custom-built, home-built uh, recumbent trike that I'm building over at my sister's house. And uh, that will go on there, so I'll have a video when I'm finished with that. And that bike is also going to get a Velmobil body also. But uh, at some point, I'm going to swap out these old-style uh, you know, lead-acid batteries. And what's going to go inside there is I'm going to build a heavy-duty uh, lithium polymer. Um, battery pack out of a whole bunch of 18650s and that will be a 48 volt uh, 1000 amp power or not yeah not a thousand amp hour, more like a 24 to 30 something amp hour battery pack um, can't go over a thousand watts because the controller is only rated at thousand watts 48 volts a thousand watts but I plan on doing that because uh, that, that kind of battery pack is a lot lighter it's not very difficult to make and uh, you actually get a lot more amp hours out of it than you would with a lead acid batteries. Um, if anybody's wondering what amp hours are, is pretty much the more amp hours you have, the longer you can go, and the more distance you can go before you run out of power. Because amp hours is pretty much your capacity of the batteries, um, not the output. It's the capacity, the voltage and wattage. That's your output. So. I have to keep with the uh, 1000 watts, 48 volts, but that doesn't mean I have to keep with just 24 amp hours. I can go all the way up to uh, however high I want. So I plan on building that, and it'll make the bike a lot lighter because, believe it or not, this thing is actually pretty heavy um, with this battery pack inside here, you know, with those four cells. And wow, <laughs> if I can uh, actually drop the weight down by a lot, then I could probably get a little bit better speed, a little bit better on the acceleration, um, because the bikes and motor won't have to pull that much more weight. Um, though it accelerates pretty good, um, it's always wise to uh, pedal when you're accelerating, because uh, that puts less strain on the motor, and uh, you're going to use a lot more battery power when you're accelerating than you would when you're, you know, just coasting along and you're using the accelerator just to keep yourself, you know, rolling down the road at like 25, 30 miles per hour. So definitely want to pedal when you're accelerating though. But uh, <clears throat> when I upgrade to the lithium, I'll have a lot more capacity, a lot more power at my disposal. And yeah, so this is my bike so far. Um, I've done this a couple other times with some other people's bikes, assembled the whole entire electrical system and everything for them, and even did the custom packs. But this is the first time I've done it for myself. So, let me know what you guys think. Alright, thank you.